the perception by most people, not everybody, but the perception by most people is that Republicans have been refusing to stimulate the economy. And I want to address, I want to, I want to speak to that. I want to answer the question, why have Republicans refused to stimulate the economy? Um, and, and before we can even answer that question, let's first address and speak to uh, the ways in which Republicans have refused to stimulate the economy. The Republicans have opposed um, the, I mentioned uh, when we talked about the expected compromise deal that's coming from Pelosi next week. Uh, I mentioned the HEROES Act and that it had a $3.4 trillion ish price tag. They opposed that. Um, they stated that their reasons for opposition were due to um, the, the fact that they didn't feel state and, and local governments needed assistance. They didn't feel that state and local governments needed to be, as they saw it and as they called it, bailed out from, from bad mismanagement. You know, they didn't want to just help at all. They also uh, rejected the previous proposal uh, based on the fact that it included an extension with those federally uh, granted unemployment, um, uh, the unemployment assistance, the unemployment stimulus. So they rejected it because of that. Um, so it was primarily those two things that they stated uh, as the reason for their opposition to previous, uh, to previous stimulus, previous su suggested stimulus. What we've seen from congressional Republicans and by and large, just general congressional leaders, if you remember around actually it started before we saw the house proposal and then it kind of ramped up after we saw this call for a pause right they wanted to pause on stimulating the economy so not only do we have uh the fact that quite frankly their re republicans have outright refused to um to go along with and for the longest time counter by providing uh, something else for us to even consider. Um, when you consider that along with the fact that, uh, again, they were, they were literally calling for us to do nothing. They dubbed it a pause, but essentially what it was was them shouting from the top of their lungs, let's do nothing. So when you consider those two things, I mean, there are more things that you could bring up for consideration. When you consider those two things, think about the Democrats. And again, I, I, I must disclose here because I can hear it now. People saying, well, obviously you're advocating uh, in favor of Democrats because you're a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. <laughs> you're, uh, Brittany, you're advocating for um, the, you're, you're saying that the Democrats are doing right and the Republicans are doing wrong because you are a political organization and you're a Democrat pol uh, political organization. We're a non-connected super PAC. We have no affiliation in any way, shape, or form with any political party. And that's one of the beauties of uh, who we are and what we do as an organization. We can actually call out wrong as wrong and right as right without any uh, without any tie to specific ideology. We're not bound by ideology or political affiliation because as an organization, although we are political, we don't subscribe to any, right? But so here's the deal. Be honest with yourselves. Look at the Democrats. Look at what they have opposed and why they have opposed things. They absolutely have been in opposition to certain things. But I want you to think, put your thinking cap on and ask yourself, is there a record of Democrats saying no to stimulus checks? 
Can you think of any time on television or with anything that you've read or, uh, you know, somebody catching a, a Democrat saying, we're, we don't want to provide. We're not given one red nickel dime or cent for stimulus checks. We don't need it. Let's pause and not give stimulus checks. Truth is, you are not going to find any examples of that happening because that has not happened. Democrats have not. There's no record of Democrats saying oh, that, or, or, or trying to keep Americans from getting stimulus checks. But hold on, I feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> Excuse me. There is, I hate to break it to you, there is, there are several, several, several records of congressional Republicans flat out saying that they want to avoid sending out, not just, not just avoid stimulating the economy. They have explicitly stated that they want to avoid sending out stimulus checks. Now, here's, here's the deal though. That is some, not, not all, but some Congressional Republicans, you're looking at about a, you know, about 20 ish or so, um, that, that are, that have taken that position. Uh, however, here's the deal that is coming from Congressional Republicans. And yes, we do have a Republican president. Let's actually speak to our Republican president, Donald Trump, Donald Trump and his administration, they are actually detached from congressional Republicans in that regard. Donald Trump is actually advocating for um, another round of stimulus checks. Uh, And it's interesting because when you look at Republican leaders, namely Mitch McConnell, right, uh, over there in the Senate, um, what we saw, he was the main person who was calling for the pause. Let's let's pause. Let's let's take a pause. We're gonna pause, 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 pause. Like he was the main person calling for a pause, right? But it's interesting because after we saw the call for the pause, and you started to <laughs> you started to see people actually speak to this call call for a pause and what it actually was and that it was um, just obviously an attempt to say that they didn't want to help people without actually saying they didn't want to help people because they understood the optics of saying we don't want to help people and most people understood the optics not all some people uh, some Republicans quite frankly wore unwillingness to help as a badge of honor, like totally detached from reality, right? Um, But while we were seeing Mitch McConnell kind of say, pause, 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 one of the things that we started to see at a certain point, which is kind of why you no longer hear pause, 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 pause anymore. um, well, (laughs) Well, let me, okay, let me speak to that. The, the reason that they say that they wanted a pause or a pause, I like saying it like that, right? Pause, we want a pause. Uh, the reason Mitch McConnell was claiming he wanted a pause, <laughs> I'm like tickle pink over here saying pause. Uh, the reason Mitch McConnell, one more time for the record, the reason Mitch McConnell wanted a pause was because he said that they wanted to, to analyze the data uh, they wanted to allow time for CARES Act funding to be spent. Now, in all fairness, right, we're, that's that's the word of the day, fairness. In all fairness, not all funds from the CARES Act have been spent. However, a good majority, a significant majority of those funds have been spent, uh, a majority enough to the point where um, anything left that is left to be spent um, is likely to have less impact um, economically than the amount of money that has already been spent. So if we are looking to see, well, let's continue to pause at this point uh, on September 25th, if we're looking to say, well, let's continue to pause because we we didn't spend all of the money, um, we are less likely to see economic benefit that is on par with or that exceeds any economic benefit that we've seen to this point by the money, um, 
in, in comparison to the money that's already been spent from the CARES Act. So getting back to the polls, or well, I didn't say that the right way. Hold on. <clears throat> you got to like reach deep back in your throat to say it like that, right? <clears throat> Paul, like, see, now I can't even say it right. Anyways, so when we look back at the pause, I promise you I'm done saying pause. <laughs> okay, when we look at the pause and we look at why they say they wanted the pause. They wanted the pause because it, you know, it was, we just, we needed time to see what was going on with the economy and 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 how the money that would was being spent what the overall impact was but at a certain point people started calling mitch mcconnell out and like saying yo like your pause is actually a a, a soft proposal uh, excuse me a, a soft refusal you're refusing to help the economy you're, refuse, you're refusing to help the American people. It's kind of like, <clears throat> like if you were a kid and let's say, for instance, you wanted a piece of candy at the store. Uh, and I don't know, that's not a good example. Let's say if you wanted something as a kid. I don't know when you wanted and what you wanted. You wanted something from most likely your parents. And, you know, you may have, may have been hit with rather than if your parents knew that you would throw a tantrum, throw a hissy fit, especially if you were in Target and you they didn't want you to cause a scene and people to think that their kid was absolutely nuts for falling out on the floor and rolling out, you you may have been hit with a not a no, I'm not buying you that toy, Timmy. You may have been hit with a, well, maybe later, or let's go look around the store and we'll come back. Even though your parents knew that they weren't going to get you that toy, they weren't going to get you that piece of candy, they very well knew what was going to happen, but they wanted to soften the blow for you. They didn't think that you could take the refusal. You could, as a kid, they knew you were going to lose your mind. And so that's what that's what people were saying like yo mitch you think people are going to lose their minds like just just be honest like you you don't want to you don't plan to help the american people so all of that said we went from republican leaders mainly mitch mcconnell here going from taking that position to taking the argument and 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 making it one about the overall price tag, which is kind of where we are now, which is why it's a big deal, as I referenced earlier, that Nancy Pelosi, uh, as part of the Pelosi compromise proposal, is willing to come down from a $3.4 trillion package to a $2.4 trillion package. But so in, in the, in the emphasis of, in the, um, not in the emphasis, in the, um, in the, uh, to be fair, I I'm totally guys, it's five o'clock in the morning and I have not had my coffee. It's, it's not anything for me to, um, be up this early. I'm up early. I start my day like at two o'clock in the morning. That's not the problem. The problem is that I have not had my coffee, so I cannot think. So I apologize. Um, to, to be fair here, though, when you look at the HEALS Act, uh, which was the the proposal, or excuse me, that was the legislation that was proposed by the Republicans, what most people, um, it, it was what we got before we got the skinny bill, okay? Uh, the HEALS Act, which was about a trillion dollars, it included, and we're being fair here, the HEALS Act, what we saw before if we if we think in terms of kind of chronological events you had the from the republicans you had the heels act and then you had the skinny bill so the heels act was first heels act was dubbed around a uh, trillion dollars uh the skinny bill was dubbed around 500 billion dollars half of that the what we first got from the republicans the heels act did have a second round of stimulus checks and those checks were the same size so they were $1,200 and they had the same eligibility criteria as the CARES Act. So it was not $1,200 per dependent. It was $500 per dependent. So they were willing at that time to give people a stimulus check. And 
sure at the time you had some Republicans who did not want to spend one red cent nickel dime dollar to stimulate the economy, but we still did see in that legislation, we still did see a call to support or to assist the American people with direct stimulus. But what came after that, the skinny bill, as the Republicans, excuse me, as the Democrats have called it, or the emaciated bill, as it's been called, um, that in order to placate to fiscal hawks, and you could make the argument that, you know, they're not really fiscal hawks because they don't mind spending money, but they just, it's it's about who they spend the money with, not so much how much they spend, uh, the in order to kind of uh, pander to a specific segment, uh, about 20, 20 Republicans, what we saw with the skinny, with the emaciated uh, bill from the Republicans was a removal of that stimulus check. So uh, in the beginning, Republicans were willing to propose providing stimulus checks, direct stimulus checks to the American people. But the most recent proposal that we have received from them no longer has stimulus checks on the table. That is why you have people asking, why have Republicans refused to stimulate the economy? Because everything that we see from them at this point indicates that specifically related to stimulating the economy by giving uh, individual Americans direct stimulus. Everything indicates that they are not willing to do, to do it anymore, especially the fact that the recent legislation does not call for that. It does not do it.